chapter 7, Mishnah 9. The Mishnah continues to discuss Nidharam that have a time limit. If someone says to his wife between Sukkos, Sukkos and Pesach, that which you benefit from me until Pesach is forbidden to you, if you go to your father's house any time from now until the festival, i.e. Sukkos of next year, the law is as follows. If she went to her father's house before Pesach, thereby putting the neder into effect, she is forbidden to have benefit from him until Pesach, which is when the period of prohibition ends. If she went after Pesach, but before the next Sukkot, she is in violation of the biblical commandment, he shall not desecrate his word. Numbers chapter 30, verse 3. That is, although she disobeyed the condition after Pesach, when the period of the prohibition ended, she caused the prohibition to go into effect retroactively. Therefore, if she had received any benefit from her husband before Pesach, she transgressed the commandment not to desecrate a neder. The reverse case. If he said to his wife before Pesach, that which you benefit from me until the festival, i.e. Sukkot, of next year is forbidden to you, if you go to your father's house from now until the Pesach of this year, and she went to her father's house before Pesach, thus putting the neder into effect, she is forbidden to have benefit from him until Sukkot. However, she is permitted to go to her father's house after Pesach. That is, even if she had benefited from her husband before Pesach, she may visit her father's house after Pesach, since doing so does not make the neder go into effect.